Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrunning Beginner's Guide. This is going to be episode 6, and this is the No Dead route. Okay, so first I just want to show, once the game lets me pause, we have about 38 gems, and you will have level 3 gauge. Everything else will be level 1. We have no specials so far. Alright, first I want to talk about episode 6. I feel like this is going to be a true test of a Gravity Rush speedrunner skill. It's got a lot of different movement, it's got a lot of combat, um, and then it it'll have like a big boss fight at the end. So we'll talk about each fight as we come up to it, and yeah, we'll just take it from here. So first you're going to start, you're going to kick up here, kick up to the right, and then Gade's going to be right here. Okay, before I um, move on, I do want to talk about a technique called double kicking. Double kicking is basically when Cat connects a gravity kick, you have a very small window in which you can hold forward and press square again, and she'll do... A second kick instantaneously. Now this can also be cancelled so you can have rapid double kicks like rapid gravity kicks but each gravity kick is a double kick. The timing for this kind of stuff is incredibly strict and really difficult to get the hang of so you might see me do it occasionally. I'm going to attempt to do it and if it happens it happens. Um, I'm not 100% consistent at it but uh, don't focus too much on trying to get double kicks. Just worry about learning rapid gravity kicks and everything first. But I just want to let you know. Oh one of the really great things about double kicking is if you do a long range kick and you double kick a long range kick it deals the damage of two long range kicks so that's really really helpful for destroying enemies but again rapid gravity kicks are still insanely fast they're just slightly slower all right so let's get into it so the first fight you're gonna have a frog that spawns on the left r that spawns on the right and an r that spawns in the center that's closer to the stairs the frog's gonna spawn about where the bottom right uh corner of gade's portrait is so the strat here is going to be we're going to kick to the right bottom of the stairs, grab an object, double kick the frog or RGK the frog if you don't get the double kick, kick the R on the right, and then we're going to throw the object at the uh, R that's closer to the stairs. It will drop a blue gem, so we'll pick up that blue gem, and then we'll grab a 10 gem uh, on the left-hand side of where we're facing right now because the game will teleport us back once we've completed the fight. All right, so let me show you. So well, that's a double kick. Throw that. Just grab this 10 gem. Then the game will warp you back and you'll actually pick up the 10 gem that the frog drops if you kill it right where it spawns. That's why we got 58 from the... Alright, so for this next fight, what we're going to want, we have an R on the left, we have a... Uh, well, and then we'll have a pillar in the middle that has a bone shell, and then we have an R... Um, so R on the left, R on the right, pillar in the middle with a bone shell. The pillar will shoot out an R. You don't have to kill that R in order to complete the fight and to progress the game, so just ignore it if you do see it shoot out an R. Uh, on the left, we're going to have a... We're gonna So we're going to kill the R on the left first, then we're going to grab a stasis object, chuck it at the pillar to break the bone, then we're going to long-range kick one of its gems, and then RGK the rest of them. So it takes two short range kicks or one long range kick to kill um, each of the pillars gems. So just make sure that you're aware of that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kick him over here. And we're gonna grab rock. Chuck it at him. We can do that. So you see it takes two. Boom. And then we're Okay, so we're going to want to pick up the blue gem here and as well pick up a rock for the next fight. And then we're just going to kick along here. Make sure you pick up this blue gem because if you do run out of gauge, you will drop the rock and of course you're going to lose a lot of time. Okay, so first we're going to throw it at the snail shell here and then we're going to attack the frog. See if we can double kick it. Got it. Um, then we're going to kick this. It does drop a blue gem, so keep that in mind. And then this lancer does drop a 10. If you feel like you need the extra gem, you can pick it up. And then we're just going to head straight for this next fight. Right. Up here. You're just going to basically follow this path of gems. We do need all these gems to make sure we get all the upgrades. Kick him. You can cancel it to maintain momentum as soon as you connect the kick. And make sure you grab this blue gem so that you don't run out of gauge and fall. Kill him. Alright, so there are two 25 gems on the way down you're going to want to pick up. You just kind of need to reorient yourself and make sure you can see them. I'm gonna grab this one, 
And then you're just gonna follow this path of 25 gems uh, until we land into Lightning Spiral Claw. So this tree is gonna give us Spiral Claw, obviously incredibly useful. Um, after we do this tree, we're gonna have a menu where we uh, put two points, or we're just gonna, actually, yeah, we're just gonna put a point in gauge usage, and then we're gonna put a point in gravity kick. You can only do gravity kick, you don't need the extra gauge usage right now. Um, if, in case you don't have enough gems, you can always get the gauge usage later. Alright, so we're gonna kick here. Kick him. And we're just gonna head straight for the next fight. Alright, we're gonna throw objects to break the shells. You don't want to use your special here, you want to save it just in case we need it for the boss fight. Uh, you do want to... You will one-shot all of the gems of the enemies here now that we have level 2 kick. And the some of the R's do drop blue gems, unfortunately. They didn't, so we gotta wait for each refill. So you wanna kill those melee range ones, they do drop blue gems. So after this, the game will teleport you so you can grab a couple more gems. And then we're gonna get warped to the final fight here. So follow the path of 40s. There's four of them we're gonna collect. And then uh, talk about Mance's right before. All of this. Up here, you're going to want to cancel so you slide right up the thing. Oh, I didn't get far enough. Okay. Alright, so upcoming we have Mantis. Um, the first thing you do is you have to kill its two t eyes on the top, and then it's going to open up the bottom of it, and there will be like a really big gem for you to attack. So it's going to take about... It's either going to take two double kicks, well, one double kick, two long range, or um, it's going to take three RGKs at short range. Um, once you once it opens up its eye, it's going to take five kicks, and then you can use Spiral Claw to finish it off if you don't feel confident, because you can RGK it all the way down, and that technically is faster, but it's going to shoot a lot of balls at you, like, as its first attack, and you can kind of power through them to get a few more kicks in, but if you get hit three times, you'll die, and that can be uh, a little bit risky. I've definitely died to this boss before, and I know a lot of runners have, so what you're going to want to do is... Uh, if you don't feel confident, just five kicks and then Spiral Claw, and I'll show you what that looks like. Because Spiral Claw will power through, um, will power through the bullets because you're invincible during it. So double kick, RGKs, and we broke its eyes, and we got one, two, three, four, five. I don't even think I got that fifth kick. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, I still got hit even through that. So if that um works for you then that's what you can do all right so the cutscene skip here is kind of when cat starts looking back at dusty is where the cutscene skip is and then we just have a comic book skip here another thing too if you decide not to use spiral claw then the game will buffer a spiral claw right outside because you have to press triangle to finish the boss the game will actually buffer a spiral claw in the direction that cat is facing which is kind of annoying because you just you basically just have to mash l1 and then you can go from there but you do move in the wrong direction so it's a little unfortunate. but um spiral claw is the safe strat if you want to be um when starting out when you're fighting mantis all right so that was episode six that's going to be the no debt route and i will see you guys in the next episode